A record breaking day for new COVID-19 cases in Georgia, and it's not even close to any other surge we've seen thus far. Counties are handing out free tests. Schools are changing their protocols, and the Georgia National Guard is ready to help. We have special team coverage tonight, breaking down the data you need to know and what you can do about the current situation. Paula Suro starts us off with the numbers. 19,124 new COVID-19 cases in a single day. That includes PCR and antigen tests. That far surpasses the previous record of more than 13,000 cases we set back in January. It is spreading a lot quicker than anything we've seen. I mean, you can just simply look at the numbers. Uh, so we realize testing sites are going to get overwhelmed. While the number of positive COVID-19 cases among those vaccinated or boosted, known as a breakthrough case, has nearly doubled in one week, data shows that boosters are helping. Breakthrough cases for vaccinated people who don't yet have a booster are seven times higher. Data also shows that unvaccinated people are still the most at risk for both Omicron and the Delta variants, making up about 60% of new cases. Now you should consider yourself fully protected only if you have had that third shot, that booster dose, because we now know that if you're boosted, some studies show us that with the messenger RNA vaccines, it lifts your antibody response more than 30 fold. And it's a similar story inside hospitals. The risk of hospitalization is still higher for those who are unvaccinated. We will be putting $100 million toward healthcare staff augmentation across the state. This could mean up to 1,000 additional personnel. According to the Department of Public Health, currently 76% of COVID patients in Georgia hospitals are unvaccinated. Compare that to 22% who are vaccinated, while the remaining 2% of patients are boosted. 